Amen. 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 Joyous feast. Joyous feast. feast. I always remember, well, I guess it was 10 years ago, and it's something I think about every year. Had, well, and I guess I had seen it before then. But the icon of St. Anthony, frequently he's holding a scroll, uh, and there'll be different sayings, you know, from his life. Some people have even arranged the different sayings of St. Anthony so that one could be read every day of the month. It's kind of a continual reflection. I have uh, a PDF of that that I could send you if you'd like it. It's a wonderful devotion. But one of the sayings that really stood out to me at one point when we were commemorating St. Anthony and I venerated his icon was the saying that that was written on the scroll that said, I no longer fear God, but I love him. And, and the completion of that saying, by the way, is I no longer fear God, but I love him because perfect love casts out fear. And so Father Anthony, our great father, shows us the end and aim of the ascetical life is that we would love God to such an extent that even fear itself is cast away. And we draw near to him forgetting everything else. And so by his prayers and intercessions, may we be led along that path, which is very narrow and very difficult and yet at the same time what he also confirms in his sayings is that as we walk, walk along that path the Lord is always there to help us and we are never alone and so there's another saying where he says that he saw all of the traps laid all over the place by the enemy, places that can trip us and make us fall. And he was near to despair and said, who can make it through all of these snares? Who could find a way? And the answer that came from heaven was humility. Humility will find a way. Humility and the humble who bring themselves downward with reproaches and accusations and judgments and tearing down every attempt at self-justification, what they find when the believer does this is that the Lord is there with them in the midst of their rightly earned hell. He is there with them and hasn't abandoned them, but continues to be with them and demonstrate his love for mankind. And so it's from this place we, we are snared, sa saved from the snares of the enemy and even snared by the Lord himself and drawn to him. Not from the place of trying to boast or thinking something of ourselves because of our efforts, but from the place of utter self-condemnation to the fullest extent, not attempting to make anything of ourselves whatsoever. So may the Lord, through the prayers of St. Anthony, guide us along this wondrous and saving path which is the path of taking up the cross of the Lord and following him. Amen. Amen.